All right, final match we'll play first. Well, that's a keep. That is a keep. So we go mummy into monument into elite. We're not going to hold back the mummy again, I don't think. It's not worth it. I don't think. <clears throat> it's more important to get an actual little beat stick, I think. No exert? Fine with that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Two can play at this Bloodlust and Cider game. All right. Oh, sad. Ooh, that was a good draw. That was a really good draw. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at this synergy. I'm living high on some synergy right now. Exert. Give me my guy back. There we go. Cool. Alright. I like it. Hmm. I guess we could play that. I was doing pretty good for having two mana. I mean, granted, we're substantially ahead on the board now, but... Point, like I said, it's, it's actually doing really good for two mana. Did we get a Blazing Volley? I don't actually remember now. That was... We're just... Ripping pure value here. I love it. I love it. Do I really want to trade my crop mate? No, I don't think I do. We're going to give the warrior haste. I mean, I could have impeccable... I don't want to waste an impeccable timing on that. We're still getting in for six.
Man, these 1-1 one -one Vigilance dudes look really good. I'm sure glad I took that Oketra's Monument. Holy crap. I mean, I suppose... Timing that actually. Okay. Actually, gonna give it a cat haste because then I can tap when I embalm it with the binding mummy. I guess we'll just swing. So they're gonna have to block. All right. This is just fine with me. Yeah. Sure. Alright. Well, they did get mana screwed here, and they look like they've got pretty much the same exact deck as we do. Different colors, granted, but same exact plan. Play cheap things. Throw cheap th things at you. See what happens. Uh, no sideboards I want to do, I don't think. Hmm, this sounds a bit dangerous. Three white spells, three red mana. We are on the draw. Yeah, if we don't get white mana, we probably lose. All right, I'm going to mulligan. All right, I'll have to keep that one. Gonna bottom that land. Uh, actually, I thought I had three lands. I probably should have. Uh, that's okay. I probably should have kept that land, though, to be honest. For some reason, like I said, I thought I had three lands. It's weird. I guess I hallucinated for a second there. Uh-oh. All right, we'll put out the mummy. All right. Definitely should have kept that land on top. Like I said, I thought I had three. I think I thought the Mighty Leap was a planes, or I don't know what I was thinking. I was wrong, though, is what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, this is a trade I can easily make and not feel bad about. Three cards left in my opponent's hand. All right. Land? Not quite.
electrify. All right. I guess I don't really mind that too much. Still just like some land away. Putting that land on the bottom is so much more painful now. <laughs> so much more painful. All right. We're actually going to play the insider. Like I could leave up impeccable timing, but I don't want to, I guess. Yeah, that's a big old problem. It's a big old problem. All right, so we'll take a quadrillion damage and then probably leave up impeccable timing. I hate that bottoming the land has cost me so much. I really, really hate that. I almost think it makes more sense to block and brute strength kill the lizard. It doesn't help that we mulligan, I bought them a land, they have a great turn progression. Just all sorts of things that are irritating here. Alright, so let's just go to game three. I'm just going to really look carefully at my hand. I'm going to just pay such close attention. The attention to detail I'm going to be spending here is just... A lot. I'm really going to try and pay attention here to what's in my hand. So that does not happen again because that is frustrating. All right. Let's try this again. I mean, granted, I guess that's the same thing that happened to my opponent in game one. No, but they didn't make the ridiculous mistake of bottoming a land when they did not have three lands in their hand. So, no, that was all on me. Uh, yeah, it's a keep. Those who serve actually seems like a pretty good card in this matchup. So is compulsory rest. Cartouche, not bad. Crasher, yeah. That guy's a big problem. Well, at least they're exerting it, I guess. And we're going to be able to smash back for a little lifelink, so I guess that's not bad.
I almost just want to play the Minotaur when I have the cartouche, but just because of Electrify. But I may not have that luxury. Fling is cool too, I guess. Uh, all right, I think we're just going to play the Minotaur here and hope they don't have the Electrify. They probably do, but so be it. Maybe they'll wait till my turn so I can fling. Probably not, but a guy can hope, right? I mean, Cartouche on Cat might help because of lifelink, but we'll see. Obviously, every point of life matters in a matchup like this. All right, well, I would have much preferred to see that than an Electrify, so I can definitely tolerate that. That's a good draw too. So let's. It's actually. It's actually pretty good. So I can crop mate cartouche it. Stop that from blocking. So with these three, these are four, eight, ten damage. It's set up for a fling. It's not bad. They smash back for like nine. I think we're gonna do that. Fling is going to get us pretty close to lethal here, especially if they take all this. All right. It's actually not that horrible. Ooh, Blazing Volley. Is Blazing Volley busted against us? Yeah, I guess it's pretty good. Yeah, because we have the Oketris Monument. That is right. I'm curious to see what they do here. Because we're not going to go after Lily, I don't think. Hmm. I think we can still do something fairly spicy here. Yeah, we might be able to just get lethal. So, especially now that they're tapped out. Yeah, so I think the plan, yeah, the plan is we compulsory rest their biggest blocker because they're tapped out. Then we swing team. This exerted, so they have to double block it. Then they block our other guy. They only take three, but then we just fling the guy that they block. Makes perfect sense to me. All right, I think we got ourselves a victory. Fling, coming up big too, I like it. I like it. So we swing team, we exert the Minotaur, see how they block. Uh, attack you and exert. And then just attack you. 
Let me make sure everything's attacking the right dude. All that. Yeah. Wait. That was weird. All right. Attacking you, attacking you, attacking you, attacking you. Got it. So now we see how they block, and that should definitely be lethal with fling. Regardless of how they block, we can just toss whatever's blocked at their face. Basically, they just do not have enough blockers for this. Okay, so now we fling the Minotaur at face, and that's lethal. The chosen target will be damaged when the spell resolves. You sack this. No, 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 no. No redirect, please. No, 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 no. That is certainly not what I want. All right. There you have it. Boros Agro wins. Not much to say. A uh, bit of a weakness in this format, I suppose, but what can you do? All right. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon.